Okay, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's whole four elect scattered abroad, teaching his word in sincerity and truth. Shalom. Alright, I'm the brother Tizer Wall from the GMS New Jersey camp. And this one is going to be a quick hit, straight to the point. And this is in the book of 2 Corinthians, the fourth chapter. This is 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 1. It says, Therefore, seeing we have this ministry, as we have received mercy, we faint not. All right, so for the brothers who are in the knowing, in the faith sincerely, in the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Rakakwadash, Holy Spirit, we receive mercy from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right, uh, scriptures say, Many are called, but few are chosen. And you know, for us being woken in this truth, you can say we've truly been called. Now, we're coming to that point to see whether we've been the chosen, all right? Because it's about enduring all the way to the end, all right? So it says, therefore, seeing we have this ministry, as we have received mercy, we faint not, all right? So we don't get tired in doing the works, all right? Pushing forth this truth, okay? Edifying, you know? We don't get we don't get weak, you know. Uh, Paul said in uh, Romans, I believe that's eight. Uh, Romans um, eight and thirty-five. Uh, for this love, matter of fact, so like you, let me uh, get it real quick. This is Romans chapter eight, starting at verse thirty-five. Okay, let's start at 30, 30, 32. Nope, let's start at 30. No, 31. It says, Romans 8 and 31. What shall we then say to these things? If Yahweh be for us, who can be against us? He that spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all. How shall he not with him also freely give us all things? Who shall lay anything to the charge of Yahweh's elect? It is the Most High, Yahweh, that justifieth. Who is he that condemneth? It is of Yahweh Shai Mashiach that died. Yea, rather, that is risen again, who is even at the right hand of Yahweh, who also maketh intercession for us. Who shall separate us from the love of Hamashiach Yahweh Shai? Shall tribulation? Shall tribulation, or distress, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or peril, or sword? As it is written, for thou sake we are killed all the day long. We are accounted as sheep for the slaughter. Nay, meaning no. In all things we are more than conquerors through him that love us. For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature should be able to separate us from the love of Yahweh, which is in Hamashiach Yahweh Shai, our Lord. All right. So let's go back to the scripture here in 2 Corinthians 4 and 1. Therefore, seeing we have this ministry, as we have received mercy, we faint not. All right. So we receive mercy by the good grace and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right, this is a beautiful thing to taste the taste of the heavenly gift. All right, you know, we're in beautiful times seeing Esau being exposed, the son of perdition in his time, you know, seeing his kingdom crumble, seeing the Most High fulfilling his prophecies that are written, all right, from the very beginning. We're in beautiful times, and the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, all right, has, uh, you know, showed us mercy by giving us this knowledge. This uh, wisdom and understanding. Uh, scriptures say the knowledge and wisdom shall be the stability of thy time. So the elect is going to be stable. Okay. In these present times or times to come. Now verse 2. It says, but have renounced the hidden things of dishonesty. Not walking in craftiness. Nor handling the word of Yahweh deceitfully. But by manifestation of the truth. Commending ourselves to every man's conscience in the sight of Yahweh. All right. So now but it says but having renounced the hidden things of dishonesty. All right. So like you bear with me. I want to 
I want to just look up something real quick. A papine, okay. Renounce means to what? It's a Greek word here as apipine, apipine. And renounce means to speak out, set forth, declare, to forbid, to give up, renounce. To say off for oneself, all right, to speak out. So let's go back. It says, but have renounced the hidden things of dishonesty. So the elect of Yahweh Bashemi Awashai have spoken out of the hidden things of dishonesty. And that's why in our greeting we say, you know, salute and salutations to all the brothers speaking this word in sincerity and truth. All right, because it's all about the truth. And it's our truth. All right. Yasha Allah's truth, starting with the elect. And to speak out about these hidden things are those strongholds that uh Satan okay uh you know esau edom has uh placed upon our people here today all right upon the elect which is uh christianity all right their whole democracy democracy their 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 uh you know what is it their uh you know this dragon that speak blasphemy okay the the, the uh what you call uh excuse me the structure of ancient ancient roman empire all right, because we're living in that, that structure of the ancient Roman Empire, okay? Except for it's been modernized. So to speak out against the hidden things of dishonesty, all right, the true image and how the Lord will look in the scriptures, all right, uh, denouncing uh, uh, the, the uh, false image of the Lord, Yahweh Shai, who the world eagerly called Jesus Christ, knowing his true name, okay? Knowing who we are as a people, according to the scriptures, so it says, but have renounced the hidden things of dishonesty, not walking in craftiness, nor handling the word of Yahweh deceitfully. And you got false prophets out there. You got men, okay, who, you know, hold congregations. They got large congregation of men. You know, they may speak truth, speaking of that they're Israelites, all right, but then they got a false doctrine. You know, they're not building the elect uh, uh, for that hedge, to have that hedge upon them, all right? But the elect... They didn't walk in craftiness. They didn't walk in handling the word of the Most High deceitfully. It says, but by manifestation of truth, commending ourselves to every man's conscience in the sight of Yahweh. And me, I can, you know, I'll say it personally, that's great millstone. Start with our apostles and elders, okay? Apostle Tahar, Apostle Gubar, Elder Apostle Ramla, Apostle Racha, all right? Uh, Apostle uh, Sakharan, okay? Uh, not Zach and so on, Zion one, all of them, man. All right, here at Great Millstone, you can clearly see the truth, the manifestation of truth, all right, of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah being pushed. It says, commending ourselves to every man's conscience because, you know, when we speak this word, the Lord said his word is quick and powerful, sharpening any two edged sword. So it, 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 it gets into your mind and your conscience, man. It make you think, all right, Elder Pastor Tahar is good for making you think, okay. You know, causing controversy, controversy, all right, which is to steer you, you know, into what? Into Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, all right? Verse 3, but if our gospel be hid, it is hid to those that are lost. It is hid to them that are lost. And this gospel, which gospel means good news, if it's hid, it is hid to those that are lost, who the Lord don't want on this side, who the Lord is not dealing with, who's not the chosen, the elect, the election, Okay. It says, but if our gospel be hid, good news, if, it, if, it, if our good news be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. You know, he's constantly seeing videos. Uh, Elder Pastor Tahar, he put up a video of the brothers in Baltimore. You know, they had a, a, a you know, inciting camp this week. You know, you got these theologians, uh, uh, Jake, you know, was taught in these theologian schools of uh, Christianity. And they out there to, you know, you know, I guess to study and learn, but their way of doing it is scoffers, man. All right. You know, the most high is bringing, is breaking down the strongholds. 
all right? And that's why the government churches are losing, okay? Because now we're in that time, that rim of truth. Truth is uplifting and rising over wickedness, man. So verse 4, it says, In whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not, least the light of his glorious gospel of Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, who is the image of Yahweh, should shine unto them. So it says, In whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them, all right, that is Satan, okay, and his counterpart Esau, Edom. He hath blinded the minds of them which believe not, okay? It says, least the light of this, of the glorious gospel of Yahweh Shai, who is the image of Yahweh, should shine unto them. So shame on you if, the, if this glorious gospel of Yahweh Bashar Shai doesn't shine unto you, all right? And it's going to clearly show that in these coming days, man, in these coming weeks and months, all right, and these, this this era, this time, all right, because the Most High said in uh, Second Ezra 16, all right, uh, then you will know who are my chosen. When Esau come down like a madman, all right, sparing none, it says, then you will know who are my chosen, all right, so the Lord is going to make known, okay, who is his chosen, and that's his election. So, like I said, it's a quick hit straight to the point, all right, I really topic but uh, i hope this lesson here was edifying to those of the whole four elect i want to give all praises to yahweh bahashem yahweh shai bahashem rakakwadash i want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of great millstone salutations to the lord's whole four elect shalom shalom